Okay, let's try out this new intro. <laughs> Did you like it? Okay everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Evan Archer and today I'm starting a new series I like to call Shit From Wish. For those of you unfamiliar with Wish, it's a website where you can purchase incredibly interesting, weird, kinky things for rock bottom prices. So rock bottom that they make you question, are they even good things at all? Well, I'm here to test these things for you. We all know there's nothing more frustrating than waiting a long time for something you've bought online to show up, only to find out that the thing you've ordered is a piece of garbage. Well, I'm here to help with that. Over the course of this series, I will be reviewing things from bootleg Apple AirPods, all the way down to the really fun stuff. And uh, don't you want to tune in for that? Hit the subscribe button. So let's start off at the beginning with the Apple AirPods. Now you might be saying, how can these be real? Especially when you see the price. These cost a whopping $2 with $8 shipping. Now, for anybody that knows me, you know I wear my earbuds all the time. I sleep in them a lot of times because uh, I have emotional problems. But that being said, I go through a ton of earbuds. And uh, I, you can imagine the wireless ones, I'd go through a lot more because how long is it going to go until you lose one of these just walking around? I really wanted to buy an actual pair of AirPods, but I don't have that. I don't have $160 to possibly lose one of them. And plus, how long does the battery last on those things? Five hours? I need more than that. I really do like a lot of the Bluetooth earbuds, but a cord is endless power and the battery won't run out. So I figured, you know what, I'll invest the 10 bucks and get one of these and see just how good they are. And uh, it's hit and miss. Let's start out with getting a good look at them, shall we? These particular, uh, needs to focus. Okay, these particular ones, and eh, it's not going to focus. There we go. Nice view. Okay, check this out. There's a button down here that turns them on. But for the life of me, I don't know what turning them on actually does because you turn them on with these little buttons here. I think it's just a light that lights up. Let's get a look at these out. They're a little bigger than normal, like the ear pods that, um, that come with an iPod uh, because they're aftermarket. I'm pretty sure these are cast over, which made them bigger. So, yeah, they feel a little flimsy. I'm not going to lie. They feel a little flimsy. They're very light. Uh, they got lights on it. The buttons are a little clunky. Like, you can actually hear it. This one's louder than this one. All right, let's put them in. They look kind of weird. I will say, though, they look a lot better than the standard white ones you get, the official ones. These gold, uh, they look a little better. It just kind of looks like you're wearing weird earrings. Now we're past the looks. Let's get to the sound. You have to push in and hold them. And a voice says power on in your ear. Let's turn this one on. That one's also on now. Oh. Okay, I don't know if you could hear that, but it just screamed your headset is connected slightly off from each other. So I think we need to I think we need to fix this. I'm actually shocked these turn on in the first place for the price. We're connected. I'm listening to a podcast. I'm listening to people talk. That way I just hear how a voice sounds without the music behind it to start with. Okay. All right. Um the voices sound good. It's actually, it doesn't sound bad. These actually sound a little bit better than some uh, skull candies I've had before. I am, I'm actually pretty shocked. Let's, um, let's try some music now. Okay, I'm actually pretty shocked. I, you could probably hear that. These get really loud. Here, I'll pull them out and let you hear a little bit of this. Listen to this. These little fuckers are loud! Okay, so far we've confirmed that these look okay. They work, which is the most shocking part. Uh, actually, that's a lie. The most shocking part is how fucking good these things sound. And uh, I did notice there was a link. It wasn't exactly hooked up to each other at the beginning, but all I really had to do was take the earbud out. They turned off for a second, and then they linked right back up, and it was perfect. This is... I was completely prepared to shit all over these things when I bought them. The one last thing, the most important thing to me, is how long these last. So I'm going to turn this off, I'm going to listen for a little bit and see just how long the battery lasts. I will, however, point out that the moment I took it out of the charger and linked it up, uh, you, there's, a little, um, there's a little battery 
symbol that tells you how much battery life is left in these ear pods. Uh, it started halfway empty off a full night charge, so I'm having a feeling that the charge isn't going to last very long, but I'll get back to you with that. Okay, I'm back, and uh, yeah. So the biggest drawbacks to these by far is how long the battery lasts. I got about 55 minutes out of one solid day charge. That being said, oh my god, I fucking love these things. You need to go buy a pair yourself. I'm not kidding. Go do it. I'm not joking. I was a, I was going to buy a real pair of Apple AirPods, but instead I'm just going to buy a couple more pairs of these. I mean, seriously, these are 10 bucks each. Buy five pairs or six pairs and you're good and you save like 100 bucks. Yeah, that's got some drawbacks, like it's going to take up more room in your bag, but hey, think about this, you can change the colors out every hour. If you lose one ear pod, you're not completely fucked, you got five other pairs you can use and one half, so big deal. You know, I'm actually genuinely surprised that Apple hasn't contacted Wish and made them take these down. You know, you hear a lot of horror stories about Wish, but uh, that's kind of why I wanted to start this channel. But uh, sometimes you find some diamonds in the rough, and I absolutely advocate for these. Anything that takes money away from slave labor using fucking Apple is okay in my book. Well, that's about it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching my first episode. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. Sneak preview for the next episode, I will be reviewing this neoprene puppy fuck hood that cost $12. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.